mm. is the constant. Okay. D dx of a constant times x to the n is the constant times n x to the n minus one. Okay. <clears throat> right. And and so like this doesn't make much sense. I wouldn't expect this to be very clear, but but the way this works in practice, we're gonna do that here, mm -hmm. is is the constant comes with it. You bring the three, you bring the three down. So it's times three mm -hmm. x to the three minus one power. Okay. And the one comes from where? The the rule of the power, what's called the, rule the, power, of the power rule. Okay, the power. Uh, power. This, is, this is generally referred to as power rule. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, so then in terms of simplifying, it's minus 12x mm -hmm. squared. That is your derivative. Derivative, okay. Okay, now we, I, the, I would actually have done a bunch of other exercises before this one to mm -hmm. like get you comfortable with this. Yeah. But that is the, uh, that is the derivative. Now, mm -hmm. the next thing is to put one in for x. So okay. minus 12 times one squared mm -hmm. becomes minus. Well, so the second part is to take the derivative and evaluate it at one, which in this case is one, it would one. be a different value and a different problem. So would it just be negative 12 then? Like yes, 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 sorry. So in terms of like what to put in each of those boxes, because I actually don't know the system. Yeah. Like, you just the software is like you have to type in like step by step, but this one I think you would just type in the answer and I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll plug that in. But okay, I kind of understand that. But yeah, it's just annoying that they didn't establish like they didn't show all these formulas that you just showed. Which was yeah, and 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 you really like what the way to do this correctly is for me to show you a couple of these formulas and then we do a few problems, then we do mm -hmm. the more more of the extension to the formulas. Uh I'll do the best here. Yeah, yeah. I think there's, yeah, I'm going to plug this in, but uh, let's see. Um, times. Oops. And then, okay, well, it says. Whenever you're, whenever you're ready, if you want to share your screen, I'm happy to look too. Yeah, uh, this software is very frustrating because it also, like, you have to type it in correctly or won't let you submit it. But right now it's just saying, um, you're sorry, you incorrect expression type, please use constant. So it's like, see it, this it took. Okay, but... So maybe, maybe it wants you to write zero minus 12 X squared. Mm -hmm. so if I, I really don't, or, or it doesn't like, oh, I see you've got to like. Plug in like each step. Each step. And then this just means the uh, light bulb just means like, okay, like we'll take this, but now it's showing up like find this. So, so, put, so put in just the minus 12 X squared. Like this. Yeah. yeah. So I took it here. So, and then here uh, I would type in like what the green box like suggests. Oh, uh, oh. okay. Well, uh, I would just type in the minus 12 X squared. Yeah. Now we did not do part B. Sorry, part B we did yeah. not do. So part I guess okay. I, so that, oh that is minus 12. I see what they're minus asking. 12, yeah. Okay. Now part okay. B we have not done. So I need to share my screen again. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. I was working with a high school student that was using a similar system, and it is he was mm -hmm. pretty frustrated with it. So, yeah, it's really frustrating. Um, so the, the, there's two forms of a tangent line, right? There's y equals mx plus b, mm -hmm. and then there's y minus y1 equals your slope x minus x1. Mm -hmm. And I know in the past, you know, we're used to using the one on the left. You almost never mm -hmm. use this one in calculus. It's always yeah. the one on the right. right, right. So yeah. notice what you need. You need a point, mm -hmm. which is one, and one. you need a slope. Mm -hmm. And you said your point is 1 comma 1. Mm -hmm. Your slope we just found is negative 12. The mm -hmm. derivative is the slope. Okay. So you're going to write y minus 1 equals negative 12 x minus 1. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's just distribute that. Uh, plus 1 plus 1. Uh, so do you move the negative 1 to the right side? No, no, this is your answer. Yeah. 
You leave it oh, just like don't that. Simpli- oh, you don't. Okay. Well, so I don't know. Let me. I guess. Let me look. Did it, was it? Does it say y equals on your screen? Yeah, this is y equals. Ugh, wow. Okay. So you. I guess. So, oh boy. I mean, they're. You could try this where you just put plus one here. It may not take it. Let me know if it takes this or not, and then I'll yeah. I can give you more information if it. Yeah. Let's. It's not. Yeah. I'll type in. Uh, Okay, so y equals. Yeah, didn't take the second one. Did not. Yeah, did not. Okay, so what that means is, is I and that's this is where it's. I mean, I don't know what to say, but we're we're going to now turn it into this form by doing the following. We're going to first distribute the right side. So mm-hmm. minus twelve x plus twelve. You're mm-hmm. distributing that negative 12 into both. Right. Then you're adding one to both sides. So, so it becomes y equals minus 12x plus, plus uh, 13. 13. Yeah. Okay, I'll try that one and see. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it took that one. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll go to the second problem and see. Uh, oh yeah. So it's the next same thing here. Share screen. Yeah, if you want to share your screen, or yeah. if you're ready, or you, yeah. or you could not really up or. Yeah. So yeah, I can cut it in half. Focus snip it. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, boy. Um, I mean, these are okay problems. They're just they're just maybe more difficult because mm-hmm. of the way where you have to enter your answers. So, um, does that add when you click click here to create a new new, new row? What does that mean? Is so, that like your- um, every step that you write, you have to show every step that you do, and you type okay. it in click new row. But sometimes you don't have to show every single step. Um, like literally you could just type the answer and if like a green check mark shows up that means like okay it'll take that or that's correct and then you type in like your final answer into this box right. but yeah so getting the final answer is no problem the, the it's going to be like what do we put for intermediate steps so yeah. let me share my screen and we'll i'll try to help you navigate that yeah. process here which is uh, kind of yeah, it's definitely confusing. That's why, I like, I've just been putting this off because it's so frustrating to use. But yeah, there's times where you don't need to show your steps, and it lets you just submit an answer, and then it'll take it. All right. So I'll try to identify the ones that you need to enter. But mm-hmm. for right now, I'm just going to rewrite it mm-hmm. like this. Yeah. Okay. So the first step that I think you need to enter is y prime. So you're taking the derivative mm-hmm. of this. So the derivative of six. The derivative of a constant is zero. Mm-hmm. Okay. So d dx of six, which is a constant, is zero. Mm-hmm. Then we're taking the derivative of x. D dx of x equals one. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next one here, minus four x squared, that's mm-hmm. where you're using the power rule. Okay. Power so what you're doing is, is you're bringing that two, that two down, two times minus four minus eight x two minus one. So minus eight mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So I believe this is what it wants for row yeah. two for your first row. So I'm gonna just like type it in and see if it like yeah because okay. Um let's try like yeah I'm just gonna type in this first row and see if that's how it wants me to go. Oh yeah I took that okay. Okay. Yeah. Now the, the next thing is to simplify here y prime equals mm-hmm. and probably want to type this one in mm-hmm. is just one mm-hmm. minus 8x mm-hmm. one minus 8x okay one all right now in terms of answering the second part mm-hmm. the tangent line we have to evaluate the derivative at the x value so you get the derivative one mm-hmm. minus 8x and you have to put two in for x mm-hmm. so it, it, the notation is like this y prime of two one minus eight times two and that simplifies to one minus 16, which is minus 15. And that's where I don't know if you need to enter any of this. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe I'll just put in like 15. Negative 15. Negative 15, yeah. 
Yeah. And it took that too. Like, okay. So how, like, how do you know when you're done with this part, the create a new row part? Um, that's simply just like showing your steps, but so is this like a two part problem when you're solving this or you kind of just get like one answer? So, so this is the slope this so is the for, slope, the, yeah. for the tangent line. And I'm going to try this again, because this is generally the one that, that they want. Yeah. I think um, I'm just, you type in like the final equation because it says, because the final box, it says an equation for the tangent line is blank. So that's probably where I would type in Y equals so-and-so. So, so, so we'll, we'll try this one more time. So you need a, a slope mm -hmm. and yeah. you need a point and you have right. a point up here from the beginning, two minus eight. Two minus eight right. So it's Y minus minus eight mm -hmm. equals minus 15 X minus two. So you've got Y plus eight equals minus 15 x minus two and this is your this is your answer yeah and then i think it wants us to simplify it even further uh if you don't mind try seeing if it'll take this if, okay. if what because the reason is this is kind of the the one that you see most often in this course uh -huh. but maybe this one is yeah because uh, last time when i just typed that in it said it incorrectly so i think it just wants the final like y equals mx plus b okay so to do yeah. that we have to continue working this out mm -hmm. minus 15x plus 30 right by distributing this minus 15 to both and then subtracting eight mm -hmm. from both sides mm -hmm. y equals minus 15x plus, plus 22. yeah okay let me type that in and see yeah, it took that. Yeah, I'll share my screen and show you what that looks like. Uh, oh, where's the button? Yeah, here it's just, yeah, I just typed in like these three steps and then I literally just plugged this in and it took it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, I guess I'll see what, if this one's similar. So I guess this one. So how many like practice problems do you get? Or like, what's the kind of like, give me the scope. There's like this. four or five. I think I have like three more left. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're, we're doing okay for, for what you wanted to get done today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, nothing crazy. I think, I mean, actually, I think I can view. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have like unlimited attempts and uh yeah, it kind of looks like there's every topic. This is like topic four. So I did like the first part, which was easy. And then B is where I got stuck on. So there's actually like literally just two problems left. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll keep working on this. I, I was just trying to make an assessment. Like, are we, mm -hmm. are, are we, you know, do I need to give you more explanation or not? Yeah. Uh, and then this is like actually the last like topic. And then I take a quiz today and then I'll be done with the first module. Oh, really? Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. So uh, F of X. I'm just gonna rewrite it again because it's 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 weird that they're putting the dots in there. It just doesn't read well. So this yeah, is the dots is, is like how the computer wants you to type it in. So every like multiplication sign you have to divide it into oh two pieces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so derivative here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the the derivative of three x squared is the power rule. You bring the two down times the three, mm -hmm. which is keep the x. So six six x because mm -hmm. and it's really two minus one. Mm -hmm. which is why it becomes just 6x. 6x, okay. Yeah. Now, the, the next one here, it, it really is the same thing. Like, even though I gave you, I said, if it's a constant times x, it's just the constant, which it is. But if you use the power rule, it's minus nine times the one, x to the one minus one power, which is x to the zero power, x to the zero power is minus nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what most students end up figuring out here pretty quickly is that when it's a constant times x, it it becomes just the constant. Okay. And then the derivative of the constant is zero. Zero. Okay. Okay. So I guess this would be a good line to enter. Mm -hmm. See if it takes that. Yeah. Um, wait, let's see. Six. Oh yeah, it, it took it. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's your derivative. You're done. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. We, we can clean this up here and just write six X minus nine, probably another mm -hmm. line to put in the computer. Yeah. Six X minus nine. Yeah. 
yeah, I took that. Mm -hmm. Right now, f prime of a, it's really no different than f prime of say like two. You're putting you're putting a in for x, so it's six times a minus nine. You're putting a in for x. A in for x. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so it's like the same equation, just a different variable. Well, you're it, it, the idea is you're supposed to treat a like imagine it's really a number like. The mm -hmm. idea is that f prime of three is six times three minus nine. F oh, prime of, okay. of eight is six times eight minus nine. You're 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 putting whatever whatever a is could be a number, but you're putting that in for x. For x, okay. So from so where do you? I, I guess I'm still kind of confused, like what the purpose of it is, because it says well, five the prime. Of, I mean, that is the answer. This that, is this yeah. is the answer, but it, so a is simply an equation. For the, of the derivative with a with instead of x they're using a mm -hmm. x could represent any number a is a constant they're kind mm -hmm. of the same thing it's just it's meant to represent a placeholder for a number yeah okay so i typed that in so which is a query yes yeah, so i think i need to like type more steps for this one um there, I'll just share my screen. Yeah, why don't you share? Because I, I, yeah. I'm struggling to. Uh... Yeah. So here, I think this one it had a blue check mark, which means this is where you'll submit your final answer down here. So here it stops. So, so, so type in six a minus nine plus zero. Uh, let's plus. Yeah, and still it won't let me move forward. F prime. Um, or I yeah, guess let me read, let me let me read the uh, let me read what it says there. Mm -hmm. You rewrote f prime of a as six a minus nine, which isn't quite right. Did you make a type of take a look? Try to fix the error. Remove the expression to enable. Hints. Yeah, go ahead and remove the expression. See what the hint is. I mean, yeah. Maybe you. Uh, what is the hint? So that's what I also get confused on because it says. Uh, like remove it to hints, but there's like, I think this is the button. Oh, um, so maybe they want you to factor out a three from it. So and it says, uh, it says rewrite the chance income factors. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's where. Well, so you've already tried 6a minus 9, and it did not like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit out of Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's frustrating. Because that, 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 that is all that there is to, to mm -hmm. write. You could factor a 3 out. You could write 3 times parentheses a 2a minus 3, but that's... Um, yeah, should I try, like... Did you did you type in six times a minus nine like that? Yeah, I mean, is that is that exactly what you? Yeah, and still here it's which is which isn't quite right. Did you make a typo? Take a look. Try to fix the error. Move the expression. And also, this isn't related. This row is not related to this. This will be its own individual row. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. So, so you do have to you have to start with the derivative again. So you have, to, you, have to, you have to go 6x minus 9 plus 0. Mm -hmm. Starting from here, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what that would so try, yeah, try 6x minus 9 plus 0. Mm -hmm. Okay, that took okay. that, yeah. And then 6x minus 9. Mm -hmm. Six. Just paste this. And then six a minus nine. So that was important for me to know is that it's like a it's a new, it's not related to the previous one. You yeah. Okay. So it's here now it took it. So when this shows yeah. up, this means this is correct. Yeah. Okay. And then you you plug it into uh, let's see this. 
the box. Wow. The system is going to be very frustrating. To use. Yeah, it's very frustrating. That's why, like, because this course is self-paced. There's no like deadline, so I'm like, I just keep putting it off because I'm like, this is so stressful. Yeah. But the more is you it, do it, the more it's helpful. And then, is this through ASU? Yeah, this is a uh, self-paced course through ASU. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah, I guess this is the last like problem with like limits. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I looked at this earlier and I had no clue what any of this could meant. You, could you go a uh, half screen on this? Yeah. And I'll grab a snip. Yeah, this one is going to require a lot of writing. Uh, that's good enough. All right. This was where I was kind of asking you if you were already in the course or not, because this is that. This is one of those questions you have to do by hand that is mm. very lengthy. Yeah. So let me uh, let me share my screen here. And also uh, this system, it also has like functions. Uh, here, I guess I'll show you after we go through this, okay. but yeah. All right. So I know this is confusing, but the first thing right here, well, do we need to start up here or down here? Uh, like where it says create new row. That's where you start. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing generally to do is to write, so we'll just, let's kind of start that here, is, to, is you would write f of x equals one over eight times x. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I guess, even though that's just rewriting what's there, do you want to try? And like, I can uh, put that, yeah, copy. See, see if it takes that. Mm -hmm. So if I put it in a box, yeah, I took that. All right, then the next thing is to find f of x plus h, Mm -hmm. which means you're putting x plus h in for x right, like so. this. Mm -hmm. And and this becomes one over, actually, yeah, we do want, uh, we don't want to do that. So we, we're going to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so I guess check, tell me if you, you're going yeah, to have to tell me if, it's, if, it, yeah. if it accepts it each time. Yeah, so there it stopped me. It says you wrote x as x plus h, which isn't quite right. Did you make a typo? So should I just write one over eight x plus h? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, no, I no, it's okay. For a. I just, I just don't know what the typical process is. is you, you figure out f of x plus h. You mm -hmm. figure out f of x, and then you you subtract them. Yeah, here I'm. So, uh, so here, here, let's try this. Try this. One over eight x plus h minus one over eight x. Maybe try that. Oh, yeah, here, I'll go start there. Yeah, this. What's nice is also after this uh, session, they actually have office hours, so I can ask if we're still stumped, like on this. Okay. Um. Well, I can I can show you all the steps. You can have them to go with you, but I will not probably be able to figure out what the heck they want here. Want, yeah. Um, okay. So it says here. I'll just share my screen. Or or maybe they want a equals here. Yeah, I can try that also. Um, a equals. Okay. Yeah, it took that. Okay. That's it took good. yeah a equals one over eight, uh, eight times x plus h minus one over eight x. So that's yeah. this first box here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you might want to move in. Now the next thing to do here is to make a common denominator. Mm -hmm. So you do that by recognizing that the one on the left is missing an x and an x. Mm -hmm. The one on the right is missing an x plus h mm -hmm. and an x plus h. So this becomes x minus x plus h over. 8x x plus h like that. So you're multiplying the top and bottom by x. One times x is x. Eight times x is 8x. X plus h. Why don't you see if it takes that as your next yeah, next right line? Yeah. I'm switching from like physical notes to the computer, and this is just so frustrating. Um, divided by eight. Okay, it took that as well. Oh, good. 
Okay, yeah. so now in the in the top here, uh, it becomes x minus x minus h. Mm -hmm. So notice that the x is go away. So your a becomes minus h over 8x times x plus h, like mm -hmm. that. Got it. So I'll try to type this one, guys. Okay, I took that as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now we're kind of where we got to talk about this thing right here. So we're really close to doing this. So the A, the A has been, um, well, actually, uh, that's weird. I don't know. I guess I, I'm surprised it's been taking that, but okay. So this next part is is where you take f of x plus h minus f of x. That's what this is here. That's the a. Mm -hmm. And then, or this right here, and then you divide it by by the by this h. So it's the limit as h goes to zero mm -hmm. minus h over 8x, x plus h all over h. And I don't know if, but that, and that's what this is. That's this line. Mm -hmm. It's like and a part, gonna, yeah. And then we're going to start simplifying it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that you might try writing this. Um, um, I don't. If you don't want to, I'll we'll simplify it here. So what happens is, is this H goes, it ends up coming up to this line, mm -hmm. and then it cancels the one that tops. So ends up being minus one over eight x times x plus h. And, and then the when minus you minus one comes from where again? Because of the power. Really, there's a minus one. Uh, no, no. Oh, at yeah, the top, just a yeah. minus one times h. Right. Okay. And, then you put, and then you put zero in for h, and this mm -hmm. becomes minus one over eight squared. The reason is, is x plus zero is x, and x times right. x is eight x right. squared. So, so right. at some point, this is the answer that it's looking for in this box right here, minus one over eight x squared. Yeah, I might just type in like the answer. I don't even know if it's going to want like the steps for every single box, but um yeah i mean it took that in the green box but yeah i didn't type in every single step for the limits yet so so, so now to find f prime of one that that's what we've just found here this this thing mm -hmm. right here is the derivative f prime mm -hmm. of x is minus one over eight x squared okay I mean, that's that's what it is okay so now we're finding f prime of what's the first one I think uh, uh, one, 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 two, mm -hmm. and three. Mm -hmm. So what that means is you're putting one in for X minus one over eight times one squared mm -hmm. minus one over eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. So I think, I think you might have to type in something like F prime of one equals minus one over eight. Yeah, let me do that. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I just typed that in and it like took it. And that's, that's the answer down here. That's minus one over eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then F prime of two mm -hmm. is minus one over eight times two squared, which is minus one, two squared is four minus one over 32. Oh, I got it. I'll probably type that stuff. Into, okay, yeah, let's see. I'm going to type, it took that. Like the green check mark thing showed up when I do like a new row. Row of two, and then this is so frustrating having to type in like every step. Um, and then next step. Is... Okay, yeah, it took that as well. Okay, so we get eight times three squared. <laughs> And I have one over 72. Okay, got it. Okay, that's okay. That makes sense once you get. Okay, so now I'm still, still typing in the steps. Um, let's see. Okay, 
okay it took those three and then i think i'm still confused on what a means at the like beginning yeah or so i didn't i don't really like the way that they wrote this yeah. um because if i typed in um the uh negative h uh over 8x times x plus h like the last step if i typed that in for the answer it says it wants a constant um, okay uh here i'll share let my me, screen let, let me i think i know what they want here let me let me just uh before you share your screen just because uh because yeah here let me let me try it one more time and see. So if I like select that copy paste and then put it in, it says we are sorry, incorrect expression type, please use a constant. Yeah, it's it's a little bit uh by the way to be honest, um, but I we we kind of have it. Let me try it here. Mm -hmm. So we have one over eight <clears throat> x plus h mm -hmm. minus one over eight x. And mm -hmm. then we made a, a common denominator. Right, so right. what we so we made a common denominator. This ended up being one over eight x x plus h mm -hmm. minus one over eight x x plus h mm -hmm. x plus h. Yeah. And then uh, we ended up with minus h mm -hmm. over eight x plus h and if you look mm -hmm. at this this part on the right here mm -hmm. it's saying a is the part everything except for x over x plus h mm -hmm. so a in this case is this stuff this is a mm -hmm. so a is minus h over eight mm -hmm. okay that's the first part okay let me type that in and see if it will maybe i'll add like another step and see if it will take Okay, it took that, but if I, let me type it into the actual like final answer box. Yeah, it doesn't take negative uh, H over A or eight, sorry. All right, I guess why don't you share? Yeah. You know, we're spending we're spending more time trying to figure out what to enter. And then this is a common complaint with these online things, you know, yeah. you spend more time figuring out what it what it is than the actual yeah. thing, but. Let me just, uh, yeah, so here, so I see these like green check marks showed up. Yeah. So, and yeah. I plugged it all here. And then I didn't type in steps for this, but it still might take this. But I could always go back and do that because what's nice about it is even if you submit, uh, you can press improve solution if you don't get like a full score and you can just go back and fix your steps. But, yeah, but here I have all of this like typed in, but no green like check mark showed that's up. That's not good. It yeah. Still that's, that's... It. Yeah um but worst so case. are there any any hints i mean i know that last time was not helpful but were there any hints on those this is all it gives so maybe we need to type that f f that part of the right there where it says f of x plus h minus f of x over h equals mm -hmm. or yeah so maybe that let's let's well, i'll try to if you want to you can close that now okay. um so maybe typing in, um, I mean, I guess I would clear out all that that's mm -hmm. there, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I could also submit it and see like what it takes and doesn't take and then just go back and like improve solution. Oh, and then sometimes I mean, when I'm doing this, if you submit it five times, it'll give you the final answer. So I'll just okay. do that sometimes when I'm stuck. But like, I mean, it, if it doesn't, count against you that would be super helpful yeah it, it doesn't count against time. me i have unlimited attempts but like okay so that would really help me to know what to tell you to type yeah um, so i could like i could just i'll just put zero for this first box here and then just press check my answer and then we can like go back but also what's i i could also uh join like the office hours and see if they can help me out with like stuff if we can't figure it out but i'll just do this so, yeah. yeah, I mean, it probably would have been better to leave the the work that you had because, yeah. the, 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 but like, where does it now? Where where do will it show us the the, the final answer? 
Yeah, like what? Yeah, here. So I have to submit. So if I press improve solution and then I go here and then I'll press check my answer. I have to submit it five times and then it'll give me the answer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> check answer and then I do it again. I've used and most systems, but I, I've not. Yeah, used I have never much seen much this before. Detail. But no. Um, I submit it one more time. Let's see. Check my answer. Yeah, and then now here it'll say reference solution. And then, okay, so then this is what it wants. So wait, hold up. This. Okay. So this is the second problem, the third, the fourth, and then the fifth. So this is the, this is all the first. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, it's clear now what mm -hmm. they wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to, I've got a snip of that. Yeah. Um, so I think I told you A was minus H over eight, but it's, mm -hmm. a, it, it's actually the minus one over eight because when you divide by the eight, that's was the part that I was missing. Oh, so, okay. so it does go away. So we weren't, we weren't that far off. Um, mm -hmm. So if, if you want to do another primary, I can talk you through it and mm -hmm. see. Uh, um, I think I'm just gonna, this was the, actually the last problem. So I'll probably just go back and like retype in these steps. Okay. Um, but yeah, I actually the, see the only thing that looks like it'll be different is the eight. The eight will probably change to a different number unless it's the exact same problem. It's the exact same problem. All of us oh. the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the nice thing because they give you one problem, that's but you good. have unlimited that's attempts good. to do it, and uh, you can redo it as many times as you want to get full credit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. So I'll probably just go back and like retype all these steps. All right. Is there anything else uh, you'd like for us to cover? Um. Yeah. It was just this for today, just because I wanted to kind of just get my foundation down better. But that was it, basically. All right. Let me. Yeah. Let me stop the recording here.